Hello YouTube. Welcome to my thermal electric kit demo review. And what you're seeing right now is the thermal electric kit fully assembled. Everything you see here can be bought on Amazon for like 30 bucks, I believe. And what I'm showing, or I'm going to show, is I will be able to drive a single small motor fan using hot and cold water. These are there's nothing else added to this kit except Hot and cold water is what you have to add. One side on the right is hot water. It's going to heat up this aluminum here on this side. The cold side is going to keep this side cold. It creates a temperature delta between these on each side of this thermoelectric device, that white sliver there you see there. It detects that thermal difference, converts that to electrical signal, and it drives small electronics. This is not a new technology. This has been around quite a while, which is why we have demo kits of it. But this is one of those things that actually opened my eyes to a certain science that I thought was fascinating. So I wanted to share that with the people. Um, so right now, it's been sitting in the water for a little while. So right now, what I'm, I'm showing here is I'm trying to force this guy left and he's trying to go right, which means that fan wants to spin. And there you go. So there's enough energy to turn that small motor fan. There's not a lot of energy being driven but to this fan. That's why it's a small motor. Not a big deal. The point is, we just show, we, I'm just now showing how we convert thermal differences of just simple hot and cold water converted to an electrical driving system. This technology, again, is, is relatively old. It's been around for quite a while. It's in some space systems we have now. Instead of sending a lot of things out in space where you need batteries to drive them and all those different things, Solar power is one option. Another option is thermoelectric. So this system can be used as a replacement of batteries as so long as you have that hot source. And what's the hottest thing in space? The sun. So we have a, a heat source that's constantly on. Essentially, you have a, non, a, a, a system that's always on. Right now, I have a small system. My, this only works when this hot water stays hot. Obviously, it's going to go into, it's going to actually drop temperature. It's going to be room temperature. This cold water is going to actually go up in temperature. It's going to be room temperature. And it's going to actually have zero delta across that plate, which will turn this guy off. So, again, now you understand why some of this stuff is actually, is used, how it's used in space. It's pretty cool. Um, but, if you want to see commercial devices on how this is actually exploited in the commercial world, in the reverse of this process, it's being used in small refrigerators, which this same device, this exact same device, you put a battery on it, you put, you plug it into the wall or whatever else to get power to it. Hot cold plates are created on that device. So one side will be hot, the other side will be cold. Then you simply put a fan on it. Now, how do you do that? Here are two refrigerators that I will be having in my office. Yes, they are refrigerators. How do I prove that? There you go. That's the refrigeration chamber there for this guy. And for that guy. So these are used at tailgate parties, right? They're not necessarily full up refrigerators. You can just put food and all kinds of stuff in it and leave it running for 24 hours. No, that's not that kind of technology. This is a niche technology where it's a small pocket of commercial devices. Now for tailgating, two hours, three hours at a football game, perfect. This thing will run constantly as long as you plug it up to your cigarette lighter um, because it comes with these refrigerators and it will keep your drinks cool. And the cool part about that is these, the, these refrigerators actually work in reverse. So if you see that there, there's a hot cold switch. You can actually have this as a thermal electric heater, meaning anything you wanna keep warm, not hot, but warm, you could put in these refrigerators. It doesn't have to be a cooler, it could also be a warmer. The, both of these refrigerators have it. Um, so you can find these, I think, on Amazon too. Um, I think the Pepsi one's really hard to find. Um, but yeah, so that's how that works. So what you're seeing is this device here, this semiconductor device here, this exact device, 
is in each of these refrigerators somewhere in the top there behind all the pretty looking packaging. It's actually in the top. We put power to that device. One side gets hot, one side gets cold. You simply put a fan on the cold side to cool the chamber. And then when you hit the switch in the back, it reverses polarity. It makes the hot plate cold, the plate cold plate hot. The fan is blowing now on the hot side. And then it warms your food or drink or whatever. And maybe you don't want to drink warm, but the idea is still the same. This technology has been around for quite a few years, maybe 30, 40 years in the commercial, nah, 30, 40 years in the commercial world, roughly. Um, but again, I think it's a fascinating thing. I feel like this is one of those moments where people can see for themselves like, wow, that's really cool. Hopefully this will pique the interest of some people that's interested in the sciences and they're not necessarily, you know, they're on the fence or whatever else. But these are one of those moments where I feel like this could open the eyes of some people. Now you notice the fan stopped, which means that hot side is now dropping temperature all to almost room temperature and the temperature delta is gone or it's, it's diminishing. So it's still there a little, See that? It's still there. Just enough, but not enough to keep it turning. But it's still there. Um, but it's dropping, which makes sense. Um, so there you have it. Thermoelectric device being demoed. Please like, share, subscribe. I will have a ton, of, a ton more of these videos. I do a lot of these little type trinkets and and all these little gadgets and i'm into this stuff i just never thought to actually put a video together to show what i do but this is fun stuff to me hopefully it's fun to you all right thanks for watching